when I do this move, I simply... Whoa, 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 whoa. I'll take that. I'll take that. Take that just in case. I don't want you to destroy the fabrics of reality. I don't want this weapon to destroy the world, so I'll take it. For safekeeping. And for a lot of long range fighting. The musket is gone. No. No racing. Not today. So, am I to confront? Yes. There's the company woman. Aveline, what a pleasant surprise. I trust you had a safe journey? Safety? Ha! <laughs> what a quaint concept. Aveline, are you well? You may quit your maternal act, company man. I'm well aware of your true identity. <laughs> oh, Aveline, do not be so angry. Do you think that I do not know where you go when you climb through your window to the rooftops at night? How you play the dainty daughter to your doting father? How you pretend to blend with slaves of all people? As if you could conceal your true self from me. <laughs> My dear, sweet stepdaughter. You are alive today because I needed you. Because I still need you. For what? Sit down. For someone so intelligent, you clearly do not know who you're dealing with. Stop right there! A little late for that, don't you think? My men will kill you. Then what will be left of your precious brotherhood? At ease. Look at us. So sad. How many years have we worked together for the slaves? <laughs> you kept them enslaved on your own terms, out of sight for your ill gain. You ended that, as was my intention. Monsieur de Ferrer had different ideas. He perverted my peaceful colony into something ugly. You had to kill him. I owe you gratitude. I don't believe you. Aveline, I love you. I raised you as my own. I was unable to bear children, but you brought light to my life. My whole life you lied to me. I am sorry. It was necessary. A mother's duty is to protect. But look at me now in the light of truth. You who know so well the pain of a life lived in secret, shrouding your power in petticoats and lace, pretending obedience to men who deny you the right to your own abilities. 
Am I really so strange to you? I needed you to quash the terrorist elements in my organization. I need you still. I cannot let the assassins waste your talents. You are too valuable to me. As a tool to manipulate? I know you have been frustrated. Agate, I disobeyed. De Ferrer would still live if he had his way. You see? Your aims match mine. Join me, Aveline. Finish what you started. What? Plot twist. What, really? Plot twist indeed. Templar Agate. now. The student returns. Why? What use have you suddenly found for old Agate? I have discovered the identity of the company man. What? Did you not kill him years ago? That was not the company man. <laughs> you ignored my warning, and now you see your error. It was your responsibility to know as much as mine, Agate. I was a child when you brought me into the Brotherhood and made me an assassin. You pretended to protect me, to root out the enemy. And all along, my own stepmother, Madeleine, was the company man. <sighs> Iniquity runs in the family. What? Why is the blade out? Agate, stop! Recover your senses! No, it cannot be. Agate, what have you done to me? The order is the future. Who? What? The hell? Right. What the hell? They look at you. I know it well. But you Son of a... This guy again. Cannot fight him. This guy is too check technical. <laughs> Does your conscience attack you? Venom. Agate! Stop! That day, when the sailors attacked you, I should not have intervened. I thought you had the spirit of a warrior, like your mother. But you only take after your father. But waxy, pale slave master. You have no right. Our aims must not be so different. Consciousness, eh? What kind of poison is this, Agate? No, it's an illusion. It's poison, my dear. Nothing more. Careful with your tonality. 
Are you going to kill poor Agate? 